interesting weather here. It's going to be in the mid-30s at night over the next several days. And it's been very windy and rainy. Very all morning. And I'm just kind of sitting here as a frozen popsicle trying to be dry. But I'll take the rain any day over a magnifying glass burning skin, radioactive, unnatural sun that seems to not give off much natural light or divine light anymore or whatever happened, which brings me to my next point, which I've mentioned in the video where I filmed the clouds and someone, one of my friends picked up a face in the clouds which could well be pareidolia, but even if that's the case. Sorry. Oh, that's just the wind. Very windy. Anyway, even if that's the case, it's still rather strange if you haven't seen that face, then go ahead and check it out. So... My theory is, is that they're attempting to uh, extinguish as much divine light as possible um, that emanates in the cosmos naturally. At the point of creation, everything exists like in God's light, basically. So they're attempting to construct some sort of barrier or block that from entering our realm. The reason being is that they need this figure, this Horus Christ figure that will birth, that is mentioned in iPad Go 2. He has to exist in a certain frequency, in a certain darkness, for lack of a better term. Otherwise, he will not be able to exit through a portal into our realm because there would be too much divine light which seems very far-fetched i understand but this is just what i'm sensing in my soul maybe some of you are not experiencing that to you the world hasn't changed one bit and that's that's perfectly okay because it's all rather subjective in the way we see and interpret things. Could it certainly just be something personal? I highly doubt it because I myself have talked to and spoken to probably over a dozen people that are experiencing very similar things. And so if one man found over a dozen people, can you imagine how many people around the world would uh, also have this similar interpretation or at the very minimum be deeply Mandela affected by what is taking place. They have to transform the reality to bring in this figure who will kind of thrust us into the new age. Um, is it can is this the reason why creepy uncle has to be president? Maybe if we have the Obamazoid connection, of course, possibly, um, because if you think about it, I mean, he was as literally his right hand man during his presidency. So one would think that he would have to hand over the keys to him once he's elected and um i saw in the comments the other day someone said something very interesting because the, the strangest strangeness of his name alone is astonishing but someone said something that really blew me out of the water was that barack is like kind of an anagram of Ra is back Get it? Ba, rock, ra is back. 
So I how would this process even play out if he is playing this role during our timeline? Is he going to... Because obviously there's no resemblance whatsoever between the red-headed figure of iPad Go 2 and the former president. So is this like, is he an aspect of a, a, a portion of his consciousness that is going to split and enter him and others, which I believe is, will be the case because I'm, I'm, I don't literally think he will turn into the redheaded figure. However, all things are possible. All I know for sure is that truth is much stranger than fiction. Regardless of how you look at it, the integrity of our election currently, there is a lot more morality and integrity probably in elections in El Salvador or in Nicaragua than what we are witnessing today. And just out of curiosity, I looked up the president of El Salvador and he's just a lovely looking fellow. I mean, he looks like he came out straight out of an Enrique Iglesias music video. And uh, I looked at him and I'm like, you know what? That was probably a legitimate election in El Salvador, unlike what we're having right now, which is some kind of a psyop, clearly. And you don't need even a brain cell to figure this one out. That's, there's some kind of element of fraud here. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you could see him. Let me try here. Uh, there he is. Look at that lovely fellow. Isn't he just a... Uh, suave and slick lovely president I'm sure El Salvador is having a great time right now it's really sad actually I shouldn't be laughing but it's really sad to see how far we've gone down in terms of our integrity and in terms of how we see each other as a nation, why people choose to divide. There is an element of arrogance at play. There is an element of pride, and it's not like a good type of pride. It's not like a pride where you're, I am a proud warrior, or I am proud of what I've done. It's a pride that's a, a malicious pride. And I'm talking about both sides here. I don't. I'm not taking sides. I. I. I want. I'm be. I don't want to be part of it. I don't. I don't know. Kind of just ranting. Just gonna go. See you later, guys.